Okay, just a quick way to remove the green screen in Adobe Premiere Pro CS6. If you look down here on my timeline, I have clip number one, which is Mr. Yale in front of the green screen. And then I have my background clip, which is going to be the Tron movie. So if I want to, first of all, on this clip number one with Mr. Yale, all I need is the video. You see you have video here and audio here. So I'm just going to right click and I'm going to do unlink I'm going to unlink the audio and video and I'm going to select the audio part portion and I'm just going to delete it because I'm not going to need it. Now, right here with the clip, if you look up the top left, this is our source file. If you see effects controls and then you select this, you see there's not too many effects going on right now. So we're going to add an effect in order to get rid of the green screen. So the bottom left, you'll see a tab called effects then you're going to go to the video effects folder and then under that folder you'll see one that's called key in and then you'll click the down arrow for a key in and then you're going to look at the ultra key that's what we're going to do to get rid of the green screen so you're going to drag that effect and you're going to drop it on top of the clip you'll see it added up here at the top left you look at added the ultra key effect so we still have green we haven't gotten rid of it yet so here here we go key color see under ultra key you have key color come over here to the right and there's an eye dropper you're gonna click that and then you're gonna come over here and you're gonna select green okay so we removed the green just with one click of the mouse and if you look down here at our clip I now I'm gonna drag the clip on top of our background and then when I take my playhead tool my scrubber now we should see Mr. Yell walking in front of the green screen and now you see the background movie playing in the green screen okay so obviously we've got to get rid of the stuff on the side that we do not need and I can show you a quick way to do that in just a minute but if you want to clean up any of the green screen like you might see some areas around your actor you'll see some of the green like mr yell's got green in his hair right now that's what these controls over here are for you've got matte generation you've got matte cleanup you got all these that you can just uh, fine tune the the key in effect to get rid of that now another thing to look real quick is in this window right here where it says composite if you change that to alpha alpha channel you'll see what you're getting rid of you can see the lights and darks. So I'll let you practice with some of these effects, but you have something like the tolerance where you can take the tolerance and you can raise it and you can get rid of more of the green or less of the green. You can, you can soften the edges right here that you have a soften and a choke. You can mess with that in order to get rid of like, so there's the green in Mr. Yell's hair. If you see right here, I'm going to change it to alpha channel real quick and then I'm going to go to the choke and I'm going to take the choke from five and take it up more now when I go back to composite you'll see we will lose some of that green in the hair we can take the choke up even more and now you don't see as much of the green outline so that is the quick way to remove green screen next I'll show you how to get rid of all this excess that we want that we don't want Okay, a quick way to get rid of all this excess area that we've got in our footage and we only want what's in front of the green screen is you're going to apply another effect. So go to your effects window down here on the left. So if you're over here and you're seeing your footage thumbnails, click on effects tab. And it's going to be also, it's also going to be under the key in tab right here. So it's going to be video effects, key in. And you have eight point garbage mat, four point garbage mat. Way down here, you have a 16 point garbage mat. For this, we're just going to drag the eight point one. So I'm going to drag that eight point and I'm going to drag it on top of the clip of Mr. Yale, which is the top one. And where you see right here where it shows just a little bit, that's because the video two channel, we have to click the down arrow and now we'll see more of the video two channel. Okay, so I drag the new effect. So up here under effects control, you'll see that I just added this effect, eight point garbage mat. If you select that, you're gonna come over here to this source or your main 
viewing window to the far right and you're gonna see right here these little points were added to the video clip so the little could have looked kind of like crosshairs they're called points we're gonna actually click and drag those and you'll see it'll start dragging and see if I drag it here it starts erasing mr. yell because we're going to set this to to be in front of the green screen so all this right here this extra we're gonna get rid of so I'm gonna drag the point I'm gonna move it over here I'm gonna drag this one a little further over here and I'm gonna try to set it just to where we don't see any of the extra part of the room where we own we drag it just in front of the green screen and you can see that now I've pretty much got all of that erased so down if I if I go down here to my timeline and I play the video you'll see that it removes the room and now we just have the background obviously you can see there's some cleanup work that needs to be done and that comes back with the controls but that is how you mask out the part of the room that you do not want the best idea is to get everything in front of the main green screen where you don't have to do any masking like that okay that's a quick tutorial on removing green screen in adobe premiere pro